Yo, what's up guys? This is Samuel Shot, and this is me bringing you the fourth War of Alliance Season 17. This is my War of Shame. It is my absolutely worst war I have ever done. Probably since I was a scrub and I started to improve. I don't know, it's just so bad. Uh, but anyways, this is me fighting against Iceman on um, Path 3, Section 1. This is the only good fight that actually goes well and I don't get hit or die or any sort of thing like that. So, uh, yeah, we're playing up against this uh, alliance called Catalytic, something like that. C-Y-C-T-C, something C-T-Y-T-C, something like that. And they're like a small alliance, but like, you know, they're in Master, so they have some experience. And so, yeah, kind of like underestimated them. I still boosted up, whatever, but I still, I was really, really, really bad in this war. I messed up so many times. So they actually put Flo as the counter. And I, as you're going to see in this fight, I'm taking Neymar against Ghost. And I was like, pretty, I didn't even like heal up. I was like, oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's Neymar. I can just hit into Ghost and regen back with all the things going on. And I didn't realize that they had Flo. So here I'm seeing the power gain and I'm like, Jesus, what's going on and stuff, you know, after coming from two wars, you totally forget about flow and how it, the mechanism and stuff. So I was like, uh, damn it, you know, I was seeing this power gain. I was trying to like bait out their special of ghost, but I should have just parried and literally I screwed up so big. So here I'm seeing ghost, she's increasing her power and now she's gone red and I get panicked and I throw my SP1. And I was here, I was like, please don't throw your special. Please don't just throw your special. And she does. So I don't have an invulnerability boost as well. So here I was like praying at this point. I was like, I hope I don't die. I hope I don't die. And after this kick, I see I'm still alive. I'm like, okay, good. That's good. I can still make it into this. So I start hitting ghosts as fast as I can. Throw the SP2. I see her going KO. I'm like, phew, that's done. So I was like, I panicked here. And I was like, what's, I, it was really, it started off bad. Now I go into this fight, and this is against Modoc, and here I had the option of choosing between Quake or Void, and retrospectively, I should have taken in Void and just removed suicides. sides, but I was like here, I was like, Quake can do this fight because she can just like put the traumas, if you get two traumas, you can get the job done, you can nullify the Vigor node and stuff, so... Here, I started off with my heavy, and I'm seeing Modoc, he's dropping, he's dropping, and I was like, okay, it seems like, you know, Quake is doing her stuff, she's nullifying the whole no Vigor node, so yeah, nothing is proccing, Modoc seems to be going down, but actually not, so here I just received a notification, which I just, um, yeah, so I'm still doing my Quake game, and here I'm still, like, hoping that everything going fine, so it's like, you know, 40 seconds into the game, more or less, and I, uh, Modoc's down, like, half HP so I was really comfortable I was like cool you know it's going he's like 30% it's like a good fight and stuff and you're gonna see what's gonna happen like always the regen it just procs in and he goes back to 70 HP so looking at my past war with King Groot I was like I could I could have expected and expected it but you know I wasn't at this point I wasn't nervous because I knew that I can still like you know do it and stuff so I'm still doing my stuff over here and I'm seeing his region there it goes again and it's going up up and up and up and higher and higher and higher so last time it was up to 75% now it went to 80% and I started to panic at this point a little bit I was like 130 and he's still like you know he's 66% he's not dropping I hope the vigor node doesn't kick in and at this point it seems like it's I don't know at this point it was a matter of luck and uh, of getting those two traumas at the same time but if he keeps on attacking me, I can't put those two traumas. So I'm just hoping the Vigor node just gets nullified by Quake's ability accuracy uh, reduction. And so here it's like a minute. And I was like, okay, 25 seconds. And then I see the timer of that Vigor. And I'm like, damn it. I need to make sure I have at least one. And he's stunned at least when the Vigor node kicks in the region. So here it's 55 seconds. And I'm like, five seconds, five HP. And I let go of my H uh, heavy thinking that he would drop. But he doesn't drop. And he still regens and he's regening and regening and he goes back to almost 50%. So here I'm now starting to panic and I'm like, shit, damn it. I need to get my stuff to get my act together. I need to go in. And I haven't been hidden by Modoc, so my Quake game is perfect. It's just a matter of luck. And here again, I'm looking at the timer. 30 seconds in and the regen, it goes back again. And I, at this point, I, I panic a little bit. I couldn't even evade his heavy. 30 seconds left. He's only, he's still 40%. So... 
at this point i was like what's gonna happen i mean you know i i'm not gonna be lucky at this point or not i don't know i know i have no idea i'm just hoping a miracle takes place a miracle happens and i'm trying i'm trying i'm trying i'm trying i'm hoping that like he'll be stunned with the ti timer and i can hit him he gets i don't hit him i should have hit him over here i run to hit him and he doesn't die and he i time out one percent one percent hp moda i time out literally it's like as if i did that fight three or four times <sighs> that was horrible it, it felt so bad like it felt like as if i died like you know i it was i was m more like frustrated that i timed out against modok than i got the sp3 of ghost in my face so here i just take in void to finish him off and i do that i just hit him and he goes down so here at this point my like confidence level it dropped dramatically and i was really demotivated and you're gonna see how this is gonna affect the rest of the war why it becomes the war of shame so here i'm then waiting for to clear in uh or waiting to get time to clear in doom and and you, as you've seen i've done this fight millions of times it's not the first time i'm fighting doom over here so i know this fight really well so i decide to go back in and i'm like i'll clear this fight really i mean i know it's an easy fight so here i'm gonna make you're gonna see i'm gonna just i'm doing my stuff over here i'm just waiting to parry and do the heavy parry heavy parry heavy and i'm starting to like okay you know let's hope to make up for the big blunder with moda and here he i she evades quakes the all the mechanism and i let go of my heavy and i'm still like okay still the fight is under control it's flow don't hit him don't do like crits and stuff and here she's evading and i can't do anything i don't know why it's going on automatically so here i'm hoping to get like a parry and heavy parry heavy parry heavy and he's down to like nine percent so okay and here she's evading by herself i'm and i'm not doing anything so i don't even able i'm not even able to like get in my controls i was like so nervous over here that he slaps me really badly luckily i get him down <sighs> so you can see my i was starting to be insecure already and then i go into this fight this is the horrible fight and here I remove my suicides and I take in Void and I was like, okay, I can do this fight as long as I don't hit Mysterio after his SP1, so I don't re he doesn't reflect the damage, that should be fine. And I have I even popped an invulnerability boost over here, so I lose that at this point. And I'm like, damn it, I shouldn't have gotten hit. I don't know, it's like my parries were not entering and stuff. So here I evade his SP2 and you know I'm just like he's uh, intangible in a way here, so you can't hit him, but I tried it and he uh, counterattacked me with his heavy. So here I'm just trying to bait out his SP2 more than his SP1 because it's easier to bait and there's no damage reflected. And Mysterio here, he just throws his heavy randomly. It's his animations, they're so messed up. Like, I really hate his animations. So he, look at him, he just randomly throws heavy for no reason over there. And I'm like, what is going on here? So I decide to like counterattack him, but he throws his SP2, of course. So then I'm like, okay, get your calm, be calm, just don't get hit. And here I'm trying my best not to get hit. So. I was scared of his SP1, but I'm pushing him to his SP2. So here I'm still like kind of evading. And look, he's just randomly throwing his heavy. His animations are all whacked up. I, I swear to God, it's like the worst animation in the whole game, really. And so here I'm hoping he throws his SP2 over here and he's backed me in a corner. I'm really nervous at this point. I don't want to die again. And he, he throws his heavy again. I've evaded it twice. Here again, I don't know. I don't, the dexterity, the parry doesn't enter. He parries me. I attack him he throws his sp3 he was already not throwing his sp2 and i die i really was feeling absolutely horrible 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 after this and so at this point i was like i'm just not fighting anymore at this war i'm just letting others do their stuff i don't want to like have anything to do with this war i was uh, i wanted to take in the mini noses up as well but at this point i was like you know what when you get too cocky sometimes you just need to like lower your like nerves and just chill and relax and play the way you know how to play and stuff because probably that's what it all happened because i was like i asked my my ally my bg officer and leader i was like can i take those minis and he was like who said that i was like yeah me i, me, I want to do it for the mvp and he was really kind and he let me but yeah anyways at the end of the day we won the war that's what matters we didn't we all died a lot on this war so in the end you know it wasn't the best of the whole uh, uh, our, uh, like the way we play but we still won i didn't even bother to look at the mvp my personal mvp so yeah 
uh, that's about this for this war uh, i hope you guys enjoyed seeing me get wrecked and die in a in the best alliance uh, in the game for alliance war so yeah i'll catch you up guys soon take care and ciao ciao